We're all nature's ardent fans and enjoy how it balances out. However, as we know it, nature can be pretty unforgiving, and some lesser beings find it almost impossible to survive. No animal is spared from nature's atrocities, from punitive weather to predators. So how do certain animals go on the defense to improve their chances of survival? Let's find out as we explore the 10 strangest animal defense tactics in nature that will surely amaze you. Ten. Skunk's Foul Defense Skunks are nothing to mess around with. With a slew of land predators making them tasty items on their menu to lurking danger in the skies from eagles and great horned fowls, these little buddies must be consistently defensive to survive. However, given their miniature size and naivety to survival, skunks have one of the most bizarre defensive tactics you could ever imagine. When faced with danger, skunks emit a foul-smelling discharge from their bungholes. You have to admit that it works since it irritates their eyes despite the sticky and misty mist getting predators pinching their noses in disgust. Who wants a tasty meal that's terrible to their noses and, worse, irritable to the eyes, making it hard to see? No thanks. 9. The Stick Insects Mimicry Stick insects appear soulless with their close resemblance to wood sticks. Spotting them isn't always a breeze. They can sink into their surroundings, staying as still as sticks themselves. They usually feign death to thwart predators and fool them into thinking they aren't the best item on their menu. However, it turns out that this tactic isn't their sole defensive tactic to keep up with what nature throws at them. Stick insects have an uncanny ability to swipe at their predators using their spine-covered legs. Some, like the North American species, emit a foul-smelling liquid that routes out predators and, of course, makes their meals less savory. But did you know that stick insects also have the propensity to shed off their skin to escape a predator's grasp? 8. Malaysian Exploding Ant when attacked, exploding ants deploy one of the strangest defensive tactics that go to the extreme depths of costing their lives. These Malaysian and Brunei natives can aggressively and suicidally explode, releasing a sticky and bright yellow fluid laced with toxins that irritate their attackers. They do so by contracting their abs, which puts immense pressure on the glands holding this toxic venom. It turns out that it does more good than harm. In doing so, exploding martyr ants save their colonies and prevent predators from making a meal out of their clan members. They use this form of active self-sacrifice to give their young ones a chance at life and not delight their enemies' taste buds. That's quite a selfless sacrifice if you think about it that way. 7. The Flying Fish Yes, fish can fly, and they do it better than kiwis. Oops, sorry kiwis. The flying fish has an uncanny ability to leap off the water and actually fly over short distances. But that's not usually something they do to show off their remarkable prowess in the air. They only do it to make it through to the next day. When surrounded, these ray fin fish propel themselves out of the water at pretty high speeds, reaching closer to 35 miles an hour. If you need some perspective, that's a speed closer to how fast a 50cc go-kart can go. However, how these fish fly isn't the same as birds. They usually don't flap their fins to gain speed, but use their tail's propulsion from the water, spread their fins, and glide. But here's an interesting fact. Did you know the flying fish can hover for up to 45 seconds? That's about four times as long as the celebrated Wright Brothers' first flight took in the air. 6. The Self-Eviscerating Sea Cucumber with fish, crabs, turtles, and some shark species being the typical sea cucumber predators, sea cucumbers have a lot to worry about for their survival. These bottom-dwelling, peaceful, pretty creatures don't like trouble, but they'll give their attackers a run for their money if they dare disrupt their peace. Sea cucumbers usually release a sticky, white, thread-like toxin from the other end of their alimentary canals, called cuvirian tubules. But as if that's not strange enough, these creatures' survival plan B is pretty uncanny. They can self-eviscerate, contracting their muscles to release some organs from their bungholes. That dupes their predators, making them think they're dead and won't attack. 5. Iberian Ribbed Newt You probably wouldn't believe it if you heard some creatures use their insides to protect their outside. It's not a conventional occurrence you'd come across anyway, so it's not surprising that it amazes you. And we aren't talking about secretions and toxic fluids, but inner body structures like ribs to defend against enemies. The newt seems to have mastered this defense mechanism, and it's pretty good at it. When attacked, an Iberian ribbed newt pushes its ribs through its skin, exposing them on the outside. The ribs usually puncture through its tubercles that run down its spine and release toxins that lure predators away. 
Admittedly, sometimes this unusual defense mechanism takes a little toll on them. The Iberian ribbed newt does add unbothered. And if it's worth seeing the next day, so be it. 4. The Poopy Pygmy Sperm Whale's Defense the pygmy sperm whale is one of the tiniest among the gigantic species, and its minuscule physique makes it a target for predators. However, the pygmy sperm whale isn't always ready to fight when attacked and will use its relatively unorthodox but poopy defense to stay alive. When faced with impending danger, the pygmy usually finds a way to escape almost immediately. Nevertheless, these tiny whales might as well use their poop, a reddish-brown liquid that creates a dark color around it. That gives it cover, blinding the enemy and giving it a life-saving dash to safety. 3. The Horned Lizard's Puffed Up Scare No predator will come any closer to a gigantic and more intimidating prey. Well, at least that's what the Horned Lizard thinks of itself whenever danger lurks. Usually, a compromised Horned Lizard inflates itself to look bigger and taller. Perhaps this interesting creature deploys this defense mechanism to cover up its incompetence and speed. However, horned lizards aren't short of options when defending themselves from enemies. Besides their clever stunts, these lizards are proper theatric masters and can play dead right before they're watching predators. Interestingly, this trick usually seems to work. After all, which predator wants their food teasing them and wasting their precious time if they can still grab a meal elsewhere? 2. The Electric Eel's Shock of Doom while electricity might become scarce for humans and not so readily available, electric eels have much of it for their defense. If you've ever had an electric shock from this eel, you definitely have a story to tell. The electric eel can emit up to 600 volts, instantly paralyzing its predator and killing its prey. Stronger predators can withstand enormous amounts of electricity passing through their bodies, but can also breathe their last if unlucky. This freshwater fish has exceptional organs that no other fish has, and they contain numerous electric electrical plates. These organs occupy about two-thirds of their bodies, producing terrific electric voltages. A few known human death cases have been documented after this fish's multiple shocks, which should get you running for your life whenever you spot them underwater. 1. The Regal Horn Lizard's Bursting Eye Your discretion is advised because the next animal defense tactic is pretty unsettling. Can you imagine bursting a blood sack in your eye to fend off an enemy? Perhaps not. However, it's usually another day in the office for Regal Horn Lizards, as this defense tactic has more than once got them out of the hot soup as predators. This reptile usually raises the blood pressure around its eye until the capillaries burst. It creates a bubble around its tear duct, eventually bursting and shooting blood at high speeds. The blood spout usually targets their predator's mouth. Given how it tastes, it won't grace their taste buds. Perhaps the possibility that this distasteful blood is a rough taste of what the predators will munch acts as an instant turnoff, and it probably kills off their appetite. Surviving in nature isn't always a breeze. Some animals find it tough to even live past their infant years. For those who make it to adulthood, it's always a battle to survive the hungry predators that always lurk around for a meal. If you come closer to any of these animals, please understand that they can attack since you're as good a threat as any. So what did you think of these defense mechanisms? Which would you add as a superpower if you could? Let us know in the comments below, then let's check out this next video.